What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, this is a quick video. We're going to look at a Gigapan, and I think you're going to find some of these rocks, not quite rocks, or as we have found out years ago, that these objects are being dressed up to look like rocks, probably through an AI software. If it was you and I doctoring these things up, we would make sure there wasn't any shapes or anything in these rocks that could reveal that there's something other than a rock. Let's just jump into this pan and check it out, shall we? All right, you can see it right here. It is from Art Alien TV. So Joe from Art Alien TV put this together and he had a little marker in here. You can see that right here. And I'm gonna show you what that is. Uh, so a big thank you to Joe for putting this together for us. And uh, we're gonna jump right into this bad boy. Now he had done a recent video showing what looks like a sarcophagus on Mars. Now, is it? I don't know, but it does have an uncanny shape to it that looks kind of like that, right? And you can see some kind of weird um, shapes on there. So is it the design on the sarcophagus? I don't know, but it is interesting. You have to admit. All right, let me show you the first thing that kind of blew my mind or had me thinking, what could this possibly be? Is this some kind of Martian roadway? Let's back out and have a closer look. Look at all the way down to the left. Okay. We have a line of rocks and on the other side, another line of rocks. Now they do dip a little bit and then they come back up. See this? But look at the distance between the ones in the background and the ones in the foreground. Now let's go from left to right. It almost looks like some kind of roadway or maybe it was a structure that covered from the back to the front. I don't know, but check this out. It looks like the same distance. What is the chances of that? Okay, keep going. It goes down, it appears to go down into this little valley type thing and come out over here onto this side. At least that's what it looks like. This is this object we called it a structure at one point. Every time I see this thing, it has a different shape to it. It has something different that's always changing on this thing. It's just ridiculous. All right, let me show you a couple of these funky rocks that I'm not sure that are rocks. I don't think much of this, what we're seeing is even rocks, but let's say they are. Let's just go with that. All right, as we're going through here, I'm gonna show you a couple interesting little rocks. Most of them are here in the background, like this one here. I'm gonna put it smack dab in the middle of the screen, which has a smooth triangular shape inside here, but has something, it looks like it's kind of semi-round, or we can see half of something round in there. You see that? Got that weird shape to it? Something right here to the right and down. It has this straight kind of dark slit type thing in it. See that? It has these two pointed pieces at the top there. Okay. These straight pieces right here. Looks like you can see there's a shadow underneath this one here. See that? Actually, it looks like there's something around right there. Right there, it's kind of like... They kind of put it like a dark gray and it looks like almost like a pinkish peach color. You guys see that right there? Right here in the middle of the screen. And it has like a body to it. But then, like I said, it's half this other color, like a rock color. And the other part is like a pink. Let me just back out of here a little bit. You guys see that right in the middle of the screen? Here's the sarcophagus. Funny how we have these layered rocks and we have this straight piece of stone in the back of that. See that? Kind of interesting, isn't it? Rock here, looks like it's got a hole in it. Maybe even another one here, a half a hole here on the left. See that? Right there. Uh, folks, I've said this a million times, there's no way these are all rocks. Just some of the shapes that are in these rocks, and I don't mean an actual rock shape. I mean things you see in these rocks that look like round circles, rectangular cutouts, whatever it may be. Here's a good example, it's kind of dark. It's got a cutout in this so-called rock right there. Looks to be almost rectangular. Not quite complete on this side. These are interesting. There's about three of these right here. One looks like some kind of weird paddle type thing. We have another part sticking out and there's another one. Now look at the shadows directly under it. One, two, and three. The third one in the back appears to have some kind of weird cutout. Now look at this one here in the middle of the screen. Kind of looks like this missile shape kind of thing. And it has, looks like a round piece there on the back of it. See that? And it has something protruding or sticking up from that right there in the middle. That piece in the back of that has what looks like this weird cutout. Like it's something more than a rock. 
I'll just go ahead and back up. You guys can use the magnifiers if you have to, but check out the details of these so-called rocks and their shadows. Are we sure these are rocks, guys? Look at this other rock. They completely brighten this up here, but check this out. Almost looks like a straight line with a curvature right here. Pretty cool, right? This right here has this kind of smooth 90 degree angle. Pretty close to a 90 degree, you see that? Almost has a design right there. Bring that back out. You can see something right here. I'm gonna put it right in the middle of the screen. It looks like it's square. You can see a 90 degree angle right here. Not sure what to make of that right there. Some of these funky shaped looking rocks next to it. What is this right here? Kind of rounded piece right there. Again, almost looks like that other one we just looked at, that peach colored object there. Not sure what to make of that. Look at this. Kind of rectangular shaped object with a rectangular shaped cutout. You guys see that? Uh, look at the junk in the background here too, guys. This is funny. Look at this white piece. It's like a round piece in the back. Something right there. Almost a square piece right here in the middle of the screen, right here. I'm going to back out so this will be clearer. It's a little clearer. Not as clear as I'd like to see it, but check that out. Right here, 90 degree angle sitting right here on the ground. Right there in the middle of the screen. What could that possibly be, folks? Now, is this other pot on the other side of it to the right? Is that part of it? Is it just some kind of weird designed object sitting on the ground right there? Let me back up, check that out. See, it looks like it's one piece. If you look right here, you got this 90 degree. You got this other piece that goes to the back of that and it looks like it goes over to this wider piece. See that? Like it's all one big piece right there. You have these three rectangular openings right here. I'll put that in the middle of the screen right there. You can see them right there. Back out a little bit. Check out these rocks and these openings here, guys. Also, check out the stuff in the background. To me, folks, this looks like a junk pile. That's what this looks like. This whole area they're in is nothing more than a junk pile. And I'd stake my life on it. Look at this so-called rock. It happens to have what looks like a square in it. And another design to the right of that inside this rock. See that? See that nice straight line? You can see the end of this so-called rock right here has like this line, like a square or something on the side of it. See that? Like I said, folks, it's like this AI program can literally make something look like a rock, but it never gets rid of the lines completely. And this is the reason why we can pull these things out, which I find pretty interesting. To the left of that, we have this oval piece sitting on the ground. See that right there? It's got this oval uh, space inside it, like a slit type thing. Check that out. This in the background. Notice how it's this tan. These lighter pieces sitting right here, this actually has a shape to it right there. It's like a stretched out triangular piece right there laying on the ground. It comes from the back on the left, comes to the front, goes straight across in the front, and then drops back on an angle to the back of this object as well. And you can see something laying there. Let me back out of the photo a little bit. Check it out with your magnifiers. This whole pile in the back here, look at that. Look at the shapes that are back here, folks. Squares, rectangular pieces right here. Come on. Some kind of weird little object sitting right there in the middle of the screen, that white piece. We back out, check that out. Some kind of black piece right there or a part of an opening of something. What do you guys think of that? Look at this rock right here. Two different colors. You can see it right here at this. I'm gonna put it right in the middle of the photo. You see this round piece right here and it has what looks like, I call it the bullseye. It's got like a darker center. But check that out, look at the outline, real faint, right there in the middle, it has a line coming down from it, but look at the right-hand side of this object, it has what looks like squares and something lighter inside it. And there's another one right there on the side of it. Let me back up just a hair bit and check that out with your magnifiers, folks. Again, these, these are objects being made to look like simple rocks, and clearly they are not rocks. Look at this object right here, middle of the screen. Check this out. Looks like it has this weird point to it. It has two little details in it. It looks symmetrical. They have what looks like a, like a peak to them, like a triangular peak, the one on the right, and connected to the one on the left. What do you suppose that is? Back it out a little bit. 
Oh yeah, folks, this is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. Like I said, we're going to do a lot of these. They're just quick gigapans where I've seen something in here uh, that I find interesting because you never know what you're going to find. I always call it the Cracker Jack box. You never know what you're going to find in these photos. We've done this before on live feed, and there's a lot of crazy things in here. Look at this funky-looking rock right here, and I'll put it right in the middle. Look at that. Hmm. Natural? I don't think so. Look at this pile of whatever that is. Has, like, these straight lines going across inside it. Look at that. Like I said, folks, to me, this looks like almost like a roadway. Or there was a structure that went from the back to the front. Either way, it almost looks like it's perfectly spaced apart. Now, it does look like it's spaced a little bit apart in certain areas. That's because the ground drops down a little bit. See that? But let's go across. Look at it. Drops down right here. And this. But check it out. It almost appears perfectly spaced apart. You guys tell me what you think. Folks, like I said, when I see these rocks, I think it's great. Gigapans are awesome because at first you go, ah, oh, they're just rocks. But when you take a closer look, just a few things I showed you, just crazy things in there. They're not rocks at all. Look at the small round features with a, a docker center. They have like a square with it, and it's whiter inside, and another square on the side of it. We have these three objects sticking out with details on top of those. You can see the shadows to them on the ground. Again, folks, this stuff is AI covered up. It's got some kind of algorithm that takes anything that looks like something other than a rock and it completely goes over it. However, it doesn't take all of the lines out of it. This is the reason why when you take a closer look, you see some funky shapes in there that should not be in a rock. Like that other large rock we saw where it had like a square and another one right next to it. Why are they perfectly 90 degree angles in a natural rock? And then on the side of it or the end of it, call it what you will, had another. Like it went up, went all across, and went back down. How is this natural? This is the same rock with the other two squares. It doesn't make sense. And folks, I've been saying this for a long time. These are not rocks. Now, are there rocks in that photo? I'm sure there are. Look at the background, like I pointed out some of the things. Crazy stuff. Just take a look at it, guys. You know you'll get the link. That's how we roll on this channel. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, more crazy stuff coming up, so stay tuned. Again, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace, folks.